So now we're getting into something really interesting. Gone Home. Gone Home is a beautiful, brilliant game. However, independently of Gone Home, Valve, Steam, added community tags. You can tag a game with whatever you want. I would tag games as good or bad. Some people would tag games as not a game. In fact, this game's tags at that time were not a game, bad, walking simulator, and Tumblr. Now, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna be very direct here. People who say that this is not a game are assholes. But why did so many games get tagged not a game? Well, because we keep using that word game. Now, those of you who were at my other lecture yesterday, a little bit of this is ground we're gonna cover again. We're gonna crook it slightly so. So, game designers, game people use one of these three definitions. A series, an interactive amusement, series of interesting and or meaningful decisions, a competitive test of skill. People who say something's not a game are always thinking about games as number three. They think of games as challenges, and games that are not a challenge are not games to them. They call themselves gamers. They get mad when other people who play other kinds of games call themselves gamers. They're assholes. <laughs> but you can at least see that's why. In fact, I, I wish they hadn't gotten rid of that not a game tag, because the not a game tag was a way to find some of the best games on Steam. <laughs> so. An interactive amusement. It's very telling that the organization that globally generally administers video games is not the Video Game Association, it's the Entertainment Software Association. We're not talking about games that are ortho games or audio games or strategy games or competitive games. We're talking about entertainment software. Everything on a computer, all these things, it's not a movie. Because while I can pause a movie, if you're going to argue that that's interaction, you're an insufferable pedant. <laughs> But it's not a movie, but yet it might be mostly a movie. Ghost Dad Detective is mostly a movie. But I'm interacting with it. It's still a game. I'm not going to say it's not a game. So just always bear in mind that video games are not just games. They're entertainment software. Things that are entertainment software might not look like what you think of as a game, but they're still a game because game is a super generic word. So there's another term, ortho game, which describes that game type number three. This is a word. I stole a page from Richard Garfield because he took a, so a prefix, ortho, and added it to game to make his competitive test of skill definition. Ideo is a prefix that means like personal or unique. So in this case, an audio game is a game that presents a series of interesting player decisions that produces a personal outcome. The idea that these are games where I as the player are making choices, am making choices. And those choices lead to a conclusion, and that path was personal to me. Other people might follow the same path, but I follow that path. I had an experience. If I play it again, I might have a different experience. If someone else plays it, they might have a different experience. So when one of those assholes says that something's not a game, throw it right back in their face and say, what do you mean by game? Are you talking about ortho games or audio games? And that'll usually shut them up. 